Hey everyone, in this video we're touring a tiny century-old cabin that's right in the heart of the city. It was originally built in 1890 as a coach house and horse stable in the backyard of the main house and it's had many uses over the years before being converted into this tiny living space. It's pretty unusual to find a space like this that feels like it belongs in the countryside just a few steps away from a busy street in the city. Despite the postage stamp size, the owner managed to create a really special home that has loads of character and charm. He preserved as much of the original structure as he could during the renovation, and he actually lived here for several years before starting to rent it out to guests recently. I'm going to give you a full tour, so let's go check it out. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. We'll tell you more about them at the end, plus what you need to get a huge discount on their VPN service. To get to the cabin, you walk down a path that runs beside the main house into a fenced-in yard that blocks out the busy surroundings and creates a sense of tranquility. There's a terrace with a pergola and lots of seating for spending time outdoors when the weather's nice. So when you first come in, you come in through the main door here, which is a Dutch door with a stained glass window. And right away you can see the whole space, it's pretty tiny. The main floor is just 270 square feet, with another 77 square feet in the loft. The small entrance of the cabin is actually pretty functional. There's a long narrow table here that's great for putting things down when you come in or you're leaving the space. There's also plenty of room below to store shoes and boots. There's a few small hooks to hang keys. And behind me here there's a massive closet which is the main storage for the cabin. There's two big sliding barn doors. Behind the door on the right is a built-in closet organizer with plenty of space for storing clothes and other belongings. And behind the door on the left is a stacked washer and dryer, which is great to have in here. It's interesting that in a lot of new homes you see barn doors like this that add a bit of a rustic design element. But in this case it's really fitting since this place was actually once a horse stable. And the rough sawn wood from the doors also echoes the rest of the exposed planks that are in this space. This is the living room area and there's a large three-seater couch. When you're in a small space, it doesn't mean that you have to compromise on comfort. So I do like that they included a full-size comfortable couch like this in the space. Behind the couch are two large windows. Those are the only two operable windows in the space and they're great for bringing in natural light and for letting in air. The coffee table is an old storage chest that was converted so that the top can just pop up like this. Uh, it's nice because it gives you access to all the storage underneath and it could also be used as a table for eating a meal or working on a project while sitting at the couch. This is the wood stove and it does add a lot of character to the space and it's great to have a source of radiant heat like this because we are in Toronto, Canada and the winters do get pretty cold here. This is actually only one of four heating sources in the cabin, so you can mix and match them to make sure the space is comfortable. The main source of heat is an in-floor radiant heating system. There's also an electric wall heater, a portable oil heater, and also the wood stove. And over here there's a pretty large space where you could stack lots of firewood. In the summer to keep the space cool there's an air conditioning unit. And there's also two large fans on the ceiling, which is great because the heat does rise into the loft, so this helps circulate the air. Now we're in the kitchen and everything is set up along one wall. And even though it's a small space, there's all the modern conveniences. There's a full-size stove and oven a small dishwasher, a large sink, and a fridge and freezer. There's lots of open storage in the kitchen, there's a space to hang pots and pans, and there's three long shelves to store all the dishes and some dry goods. And over here is a floor to ceiling pantry, so lots of space to store a bunch of food, and down below, space to store kitchen appliances. You'll notice that almost everything in this cabin is handmade and customized by the owner. Like the kitchen countertop here, it was a DIY project made out of cement and coated with epoxy. All the storage cabinets down below are also handmade. 
And there's also some interesting details like the galvanized pipe paper towel holder and the built-in cubby for the dish soap. All these little details help make the space functional but also more unique. Across from the kitchen is a small dining area. This is not the kind of spot where you'll sit for hours and hours, but it's nice to be able to have a meal here or maybe set up a laptop to do some work. And this is also one of the warmest spots in the cabin because the heater is on the wall right next to it. Now we're in the bathroom. It's pretty small, but there's everything necessary. There's a flush toilet. Across from the toilet, there's a large bowl sink with a vanity underneath and then some built-in storage next to it on the wall. And then the shower is actually quite spacious. It's about four feet long. And pretty much the only thing that might be missing in here for some people is a bathtub. To close off the bathroom, there's another barn door here that's great for saving space. And it also brings back the aesthetic of the closet doors at the entrance. So this part of the cabin between the living room and the kitchen has a few different purposes. Behind, along the wall, there's a dresser for storage. And there's also a, a little dog cubby built into it. The owner used to have a dog and that was its bed. Above that, there's a shelf and also a wall mounted TV that can be angled towards the couch. And then there's this beautiful spiral staircase that leads to the sleeping loft. This is a unique feature and it's great because it doesn't create a lot of visual clutter. You can see through all the steps and light passes through, which is nice. It's also more compact than a regular staircase but you do have to be a bit more careful going up and down. And that's why there's a few different hand grips to help with that. So now we're up in the loft and this is a pretty large loft. Aside from the beam that you have to watch out for, there's quite a bit of headroom above so you can easily sit up in bed. There's a queen size bed up here and there's still enough space on the side to move around. At the head of the bed, there's a bit of storage for books. There's two reading lights and plugs for charging devices. And at the foot of the bed, there's a large storage area with a barn style door. It's definitely a little bit warmer up here compared to downstairs. So you do have to remember to turn down the heat maybe an hour before coming up here. I also really like that it was kept very open on this side of the bed here. So you have a nice view out the windows. You have the light coming in and reaching the loft. And you can see the whole living room from up here and the beautiful chandelier that's above the couch. If there's more than one person in the cabin, this is also a nice spot to come up and get a little bit of privacy. It was really enjoyable spending time in this space. Even though it has all the modern amenities, it still retains the nostalgic charm of a building with a long history. And it makes you feel like you can relax and unwind here. This is a really special spot and if ever you're in Toronto, it's definitely worth checking it out. So we'll put the Airbnb link in the description below if you want to find out more. We also want to thank NordVPN for sponsoring this video. We've been using their virtual private network service for four years now and it's a service that we'll probably never go without. NordVPN increases your security and privacy online by concealing your IP address, cloaking your virtual location and protecting you from cyber attacks. The latest feature from NordVPN is Threat Protection, which is already available on the desktop app and it helps protect you even further by identifying downloads with malware and malicious websites and by blocking trackers. Right now you can get a two-year plan at a huge discount plus one free additional month when you go to nordvpn.com slash exploring alternatives. They also have a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk in giving it a try. To get the deal, our link is nordvpn.com slash exploring alternatives, or you can click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.